Hey everybody, Brian Chase, Kevin Nelson here. We're with our EC120 member 822 Echo Tango. I wanted to do a little walk around tour with Kevin Nelson, the man, the, the myth, man. the legend. <laughs> So this is enough to hop into a helicopter and get yourself killed. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so give me the brief, most concise version of how to fly. What are these controls? How do we fly a helicopter? How can you be sitting in your living room and learn how to fly a helicopter? Yeah. <laughs> what really is that guy? What's that Hollywood star doing when he's holding on to the stick doing this, right? Yes. Why is that a stick? What is it? Why is it called that? So yeah, real quick here, we've got three major control points to fly a helicopter. Obviously a pilot sitting here, he would have his left hand or she, left hand here, right hand here, and feet on there. Now there's all sorts of navigation, communications, but we're not going to go into that. Sure. Obviously a rated pilot needs to know rules and regulations and communication, things like that, how to operate, that kind of stuff. But we're just going to talk about the physical movement of the body of the helicopter okay. with these two. Yep. So, all of you at home, sit in your desk chair watching this YouTube video or whatever it is. Um, we're going to talk first about this thing. It's called the this thing. It's called the collective. It's a collective lever, and it goes up and down. Grab my mic first. And there's two sets of controls in this helicopter. It goes up and down. It, it doesn't okay. go left or right. It, you know, it, it does have a throttle where you're you're doing the engine. But we're just talking about moving the helicopter. So moving up like this or down. Okay. So you go up, the houses get smaller. You go back down, the houses get bigger. Yep. Okay. So you go up like this for a little while, the people that you see next to you now become ants way down there. Yep. So up and down. Helicopter goes up, helicopter goes down. Why is it called a collective? The collective moves the pitch of the blades that we're going to show you that collectively changes the pitch. They all change the same amount, therefore popping us up straight up in the air. Okay. okay? Yep. Next thing is I'm going to talk about the cyclic. Yep. The cyclic. Yep. The cyclic, right hand, move it like this. It hardly moves in flight. You know, it's, it's you know, you're seeing this kind of movement for a yeah. typical helicopter flight. It's not going like this. The Red Bull rolling over helicopters. Right. Right. But you saw flying that this thing hardly moves. Yep. That is the frisbee steerer. Imagine a frisbee on top of my thumb as I move this left, right, forward. When you throw a frisbee with a slight left hand, uh, cant to it, yeah, right. you throw it, it's going to turn to the left. Okay. This is steering my frisbee. When those blades are all spinning, it's just a frisbee up there. Just think of it as a frisbee. And if you throw it with the nose up on that frisbee, it's going to take off, isn't it? If you tilt it down, it's going to kind of nosedive. Okay. You roll it to the right, left. So that's just controlling your frisbee. It's your frisbee controller, but it's called a cyclic because it cyclically changes the pitch of the blades. Individually, as each blade's in a certain point in the spin, continually changing the pitch of those blades to tilt your overall frisbee. Your aggregate okay. frisbee yeah. is made up of three blades spinning around at 400 RPM, independently, minusculely changing their pitch. Okay. I and just move it where I want to move the helicopter. And that will tilt you forward, forward back, back, left, left. right, you know, and, right. and you can go forward and left, and you can go in a circle. Okay. Okay. Collective, collectively change pitch, cyclically change it. Now, this one's the interesting one. This is where our feet sit. Yep. So, these are not rudder pedals, as a lot of airplanes. Pedals, as a lot of airplane guys would, would refer to them. Yep. They sure look like them. Yeah. <laughs> they do control the fenestron in the back. But when I lift up on this, I'm putting a bunch of torque, like I'm taking a dish rag and I'm squeezing the water out of it. Yeah. Because my engine is is driving those rotor blades, so I'm creating a torque in the airframe. Okay. And once I break ground from the friction of the uh, or the friction yeah. of the ground, the skids on the ground, yeah. I don't have another hand holding my myself steady there. Sure. It's gonna unwind this airframe would start spinning the opposite direction of those rotor blades yep. when I don't have some form of resistance. So out on the end of a moment arm, if you engineers out there in the audience, at the end of a moment arm, we've got a smaller rotor yep. that's turning uh, or is working in a horizontal plane is, um, instead of the vertical plane. Okay. So um, I have to push these pedals 
dependent upon what I do with the collective. The more up I do with this, the more I have to push the right pedal in simplest terms. The counter steering. That's right. Um, if I go down with the collective, I'm going to have to ease up the right and, and apply some left. So as you pull up with a helicopter, you have to add... I have to add right in this right. case. In okay. in certain manufactured helicopters in certain parts of the world, it's the other way around. You lift up, you got to push left. I can put a guy in here who flies other helicopters, gal, and I have to remind them, you just keep the nose pointed where you need to point it in front of you. But the more I pull, the rapid, more rapid I do this, I'm adding torque. I've got to counter or anti-torque that with my anti-torque pedals. Those are anti-torque pedals. Cyclic, collective, anti-torque pedals. Both hands, both feet, combined with my brain, are in process. That's why helicopter flying is a lot of fun. You, you're, yeah. you do this. Now you can have an autopilot or whatever that, that can do this stuff, but you're hand flying it, you're, you're always flying it. Guys that I know that have 12,000 hours flying airplanes go, man, that's the most fun I've ever had in aviation. That's cool. I'm looking forward to it. In, in what, three minutes? That's how you fly a helicopter. Come on out and we'll actually show you one. Let's do it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe to our channel to see more of these videos. I, if I gave somebody the controls after giving them that little sp uh, spiel, set them in there, even you, an airplane guy, I'm going to be taking the controls away in a hover in less than 10 seconds. And that helicopter is going to be doing this. A lot of finesse, and usually it's just lightening up your fingers and moving the controls left. And